suppose here we have a table called students very simple example simple example i will take here student table in the student table we have some fields like id of the students name of the student this is student id student id we have and name also there in the student table so along with the student table i have another table called course our courses this is also having what student identification this is course name course name now let us say the student id is student id is like this 105 106 and 107 and 108 for all this i am giving a name like xx otherwise take some names krish raj aryam ram or some kiran like this i have some names here also i have student id 106 107 One zero five, one zero. What is it? One zero eight. Now, course names are suppose Varikil. One zero seven. This one. This one. This is Java. One zero five. This is something like PHP. One zero eight. This is uh, something like. Uh, um, web designing web designing courses now student table co student table is going to contain all students information and courses table contains all courses information now in these two tables we have a common field called a common field called student id so for 105 so 105 if you take 105 so the corresponding student information is 105 and krish so using 105 we can locate this particular record in courses table now this is going to maintain all the courses along with the student ids okay for 105 which is a matching record this is a matching record this is a matching record and if you consider 106 for 106 which is a matching record in courses table so this is a matching record that means full fledged information you can display by using join concept means if you consider a student it is going to retrieve all the student id name and course name also the course name in which the student has joined okay so for 105 this is a corresponding record for 105 this is a corresponding record 106 this is this one that means 105 student name is krish he has joined in which course php course so 106 raj so this student has joined in which course oracle and in the same way you take this third student 107 For 107, what is the corresponding record? Yo, this is a corresponding record. So this student has joined in Java, and 108. So 108 student has this student has joined in web designing course. Web designing course. Okay, like this, we can have join concept to merge, to integrate two tables. So what is uh, this kind of join? So this kind of join is called as equation. That means in the equation we must have a common column. so when you are having common column then only we can uh, apply equal to operator otherwise it is not possible to apply uh, <coughs> assignment operator okay we what is a common column in two tables here student id student id here student id is there here also student id is there so this table contains student id and this table also contains student id using this student id column we can uh, join these two tables means if i join these two tables what happens here 105 105 krish will come So for 105, what is the relevant record? Course name. This is PHP. After combining, after combining these two tables, this information will come. 105 or 106. What happens here? Raj will come. For Raj, what is the corresponding record? Uh, 106. So he has joined in Oracle. He has joined in Oracle. For 107. So what is the corresponding record in the courses table? 107. His name is Aryam. ram or rom uh, he has joined in which course 107 java 108 for 108 so 
So what is the corresponding record in courses table? Web designing. So this is a self equijoin concept. So when you join these two tables in equijoin method, so this information will come. Means uh, we have to give a join condition to join a two tables in equijoin method. <coughs> Just I will create two tables first. Create table. So what is the first table to be created here? Student. Student. Uh, in the student table I have ID of the ID of the student ID this is of number type it is with uh, any ID with uh, 10 digits uh, next uh, name of the student and I am going to use student ID student ID name is character type <coughs> already is existing student table created and here uh, I will create one more table that is courses table courses table so courses table is going to have student ID and course name table created just I will insert uh, some rows into each table insert into student values student id name i will insert some rows like uh, what values i have given in the explanation 105 student name i have given what krish okay any name you can give no problem one row created. Once again, I will execute. 106 or 107, anything you can give. 107. Raj. 109. Ram. Mm, in the same way, I will give. 110. Uh, one, or 109. 109 already we have given, no? 108. Uh, next, their name is some Kishore or Kiran, whatever it may be created. Just you make commit. Next, I will insert data into other table like uh, student table. Uh, sorry, courses table. Insert into courses values. <coughs> I will say student ID student id comma as a student id is a number type i did not give any single quotations okay so i am percent say c name this is course name student id 109 suppose he has joined in java and once again i will execute 108 uh, for 108 the information is what one zero eight and this is oracle one more I will insert one zero seven he has joined in suppose what web designing uh, one zero six Course name is something like uh, Oracle is over, Java is over, Web Designing is over. Next uh, thing is you say you use PHP. Order it name. One row created. Make it commit. Now just you look at the information from two tables. At once select star from STUD. Here courses table. One zero nine. So one zero five. 
for 105 there is no corresponding record 107 is there 109 is there 108 is there 105 for 105 there is no corresponding record okay so that uh, row will not come next so how to apply this how to apply join in inner condition sorry equijoin condition so to join equi join uh, to use equijoin condition so the query can be written like this select uh, stud dot id why we have to use stud i will explain stud dot student id student id comma um, stud uh, here uh, it is not required name courses uh, simply i will ignore this uh, course name course name from stud comma courses where stud dot student id equal to courses dot id std id okay std is it is invalid id std std id std id see for 109 what is the corresponding record in uh, courses table first record 109 for 109 for a um, uh, student table 109 109 ram for uh, ram what is the corresponding record the corresponding record java is a corresponding record for 108 kishore kishore has joined in which course 108 oracle 107 he has joined in which course um, 108, 108 he has joined in which course Kishore he has joined in Oracle 107 he has joined in web designing course like this we can join two tables by using equation method ok <coughs> so the what is the syntax here why we have to use this uh, stud keyword stud keyword this is uh, especially we have to use whenever a particular column uh, is uh, lying in two tables means uh, std id column is belong uh, std, std id column belonging to two tables std column std table and courses table so in such case if you say simple simple std, uh, std id what happens oracle is going to get uh, confusion okay so there is a name confliction between std id of student table std id of courses table this is just like uh, if a student, if a particular student uh, name is same in a classroom, what do we have to say? So, we have to prefix the student name with uh, initial name. So, if the student is uh, prefixed by his initial name, what happens here? A unique student will come. Otherwise, if you are not doing, uh, not using any initial uh, prefix name, what happens here? There is a name confliction occurred between two students. In the same way, here also, if I use a simple std id, so there will be a name confliction name confliction name ambiguity will be occurred ambiguity means confusion confusion name confliction is occurred so in order to avoid that confliction we have to use what the table name the table name must be prefixed with the column name so here as the std id is belonging to two tables student table courses table the course the to the table must be prefixed the the column must be prefixed with, with table name so this is a process in which we can use equation here I'll write the explanation here <coughs> note in equation as we have a common column a common column in two tables we cannot specify the column simply in the select command if we do so name ambiguity problem will be arranged between two same columns 
to avoid this the common column must be prefixed prefixed by the table name the table name from which we have to take the data so here uh, this is mandatory and in equijain method we are going to use equal to operator so one more point you have to note uh, note down uh, we have to remember here what is the point to be remembered in equijain we must have a common column otherwise we cannot retrieve the rows in equi join we must have a common column in two tables to be or which are to be joined this is in equi join method So, how many types of joins are there? This is about equijoin, and one more join concept is there. That that is non-equijoin. Non-equijoin. Third category is um, left outer join. Next one is right outer join. Fifth one, self. Join. Sixth one, natural join. Natural join. So these are the concepts we have in uh, joins. Okay. So already we have completed equijoin uh, um, methodology. So in the next session we are going to discuss non-equijoin, <laughs> left outer join, right outer join, and self outer join, self join. Okay. So, if any doubts, you can ask. These are what giants concepts.